Oh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all of you out there. Uh, right now it is pretty much afternoon for me, Monday. I'm right here in Asia, and to all of you, going to be waking up to hopefully a good week, but who knows what's going to happen. Ups and downs, highs and lows, we, just, we don't know. We had a lot of interesting news last week from AMC and also GME. But at the end of the day, it comes down to knowing who your enemy is and knowing what battle we have to fight. And this has been quite an incredible journey for all of us who, early on in January, might have had zero experience going through research and understanding the stock market because, again, the stock market is, is designed to disadvantage those who have the least knowledge. And right now, knowledge is your power, the power of the community and the community acting as one, but also the community acting as separately as individual retail investors. And this is something that has it has everybody in the banking industry, hedge funds, they have to be scared. They have to be totally aware of the amount of information that has gone on through pulling out and, and extracting all the deep research that's available online through SEC, FINRA, uh, the DTCC, every single thing. And there's gonna be more coming out within the next few days on the Super Stonk uh, Reddit site. So for those of you on GME, and also for those of you on AMC, know the reason you're holding. And this, this again comes down to value realization, basically why you believe the company's good. A lot of people, congressmen, Senate members, news journalists, they're not going to be able to, they don't buy into this. They don't have any value realization. They don't believe in the stock. They don't believe in it because they don't understand the stock market. And also, again, they don't understand each individual retailer's incentive for holding the stock and believing the company. AMC, again, it could be up to 96% of the, us holding the, the retail float. And for GME, it's just all synthetic shares and naked short selling, but also the the realization of Ryan Cohen and the CEOs transforming this small company into a huge, huge, hopefully fantastic online gaming community and who knows what else is in. And that to me that excites me. That's why I like the stock, holding on to it. And some other things I want to talk to you today is now we have to be aware of being comfortable, being uncomfortable. Because every day we're going to be uncomfortable and you have to be comfortable with that feeling. Uh, not knowing when the, the short squeeze is going to happen. It could be today, it could be tomorrow, it could be next week. You have to be in this uncomfortable, this state of just floating. Because you're being prepared to have your exit plan aware, know what's going to happen. I've got my battery packs, I've got my, make sure I've got two phones, I've got my extra connect, connectivity, every single thing that could go wrong, of course, Murphy's Law can go wrong, all right? And again, a couple other things here. 80% of the people in the world aren't happy, right? And you're here to basically make yourselves happy through the stock, the companies that we believe in. And that is the thing that I've been seeing on Reddit and talking to people is how the community has helped pull them out of a very sour in down spot and that to me that's fantastic and again that is value realization again right there fantastic so to all of you down there just keep your head down do your job whatever it is don't expect things to happen you know just take everything with a grain of salt because the longer you expect things you're going to get down you're going to get depressed about it you say, oh expecting it today tomorrow no but you'll know when it happens i turn off I've turned on all my alarms, so when the stock price reaches $15, $16 for AMC, GME could be $190, $200, $250. I get that. I'll be aware of it. There's going to be a lot of misinformation, FUD, that will be going around, but I'm not counting on the news, the media, anything. Market Watch, Motley Fool, forget all of that. It's not worth it, okay? Because you have to stay hungry. Every, all, all of us, I see this out there in the posts and people talking. You're hungry. You're hungry to get something you deserve. And that is the most important thing. There are a lot of things out there we all need and a lot of things out we all want, okay? So stay hungry, stay safe, hold the line, and buy more stock if you can. Do what you need to. And remember, things will happen. But remember, knowledge is power. This is something that Citadel, hedge funds, and the other big banks are scared about, our knowledge. Research, do your own research, get to your own hypothesis, find your own theories, go in and investigate, share knowledge, and read the due diligence. It's there, it's valid. It's being revalidated all the time. Uh, 
a lot of it is just straight market man, man, sorry market manipulation. There's nothing we can do about that, or isn't there? Yes, we can, and that's something we've been constantly doing, getting the research out there, sending emails to the SEC and FINRA, Congress members, our brokers, getting our voices heard. That is knowledge, and again, that is power. We have the power to vote, change things the way we want to. And, and speaking of voting, congratulations to all everybody in Europe who's gotten your vote out there and got your vote sent in for Jimmy. That is awesome. The power of one and also the power of the community. Getting there and showing your support because the more you poke, the more you poke somebody, the more bees are flying around. Yes, the more buzz, it's more going to hurt and they will be aware of that. But really, don't worry about anything else that's going around, around you. Focus on what you need to do. Stay healthy. Keep your job going. Take care of your family. Take care of your friends. But also on the weekends, have some time for yourself. But now getting down to a game time. All right, so all of you, get ready for some massive changes. Stay comfortable with being uncomfortable. It's gonna be that way for a long time.